When it comes to our favorite productivity tools, we don't just want changes, we want improvements. Groupwise 2014 includes a host of look and feel improvements, allowing you to find what you want more quickly and do what you want more efficiently. In this Groupwise 2014 What's New video, I'll introduce you to these enhancements, beginning with the improvements to the look of Groupwise. Let's begin with a few comparisons between Groupwise 2012 and Groupwise 2014. Although many new functions and features were added in Groupwise 2012, the look of the Groupwise interface largely remained the same as it had in the past few releases. In Groupwise 2014, the mailbox view and taskbar icons have been tightened, and the overall interface has been given a flatter, cleaner look. Light and dark areas are better used to provide contrast between the interface and the thing that matters most to you, your data. The Groupwise 2012 calendar interface had also remained largely unchanged over the past few releases. Like the mailbox, the calendar view in Groupwise 2014 has been flattened, making the calendar more clear and allowing you to reference your appointments more easily. Appointments are highly visible and the mini calendar is easier to use and navigate. In Groupwise 2012, the contacts list was busier. In Groupwise 2014, the interface is clean, the list is more roomy, and the contact cards themselves are better defined. These modifications make the contacts list more usable and aesthetically pleasing. As you can see, the look of the Groupwise 2014 client has been updated to make it more pleasant and accessible. But we've also worked to improve your workflow by optimizing and enhancing your interactions with Groupwise. These feel enhancements have been implemented throughout the GroupWise client, but they're best explored in the updated Compose view. The GroupWise 2014 Compose view has been greatly simplified. Some fields, like From, CC, and BC are hidden by default to allow you to focus on composing your item. If you'd like to reveal one of these fields for an individual message, you can use these buttons to do so. You can use the Options slide-out to select which of these fields you want to appear by default whenever you're working in the Compose view. Speaking of the Options slide-out, in previous versions of GroupWise, many of your Compose options were spread across the interface in the form of buttons and icons. The Options slide-out gives you a clear, focused interface by placing your most useful and relevant options in this context-sensitive menu. To learn more about the Options slide-out, please see the What's New video on this feature. In an effort to keep the Compose interface clean, the HTML formatting toolbar now appears only when you're working in the message body. We've worked to make GroupWise more intuitive and flexible, which is why we've made it easier to change an item from one type to another. This button, for example, changes any item you're composing from Group to Personal and back again. Because the change is dynamic, all of the information that I added earlier is preserved, even when I change the item back and forth. Change may be inevitable, but with GroupWise 2014, providing improvements that are intuitive is our goal. To learn more about Novell GroupWise, please visit novell.com/documentation. Thanks for watching.